Welcome back everybody, we are in round one of the losers bracket and this is game 13, SU25 Frogfoot versus the Hook Wolf FW190 in an interesting American paint scheme. So we're going to see if we can get these guys to fight each other in the losers bracket. They may not want to, they might want to go home, they might be a little bit ashamed. But uh, we shall see. I'm not quite sure what to expect here. Okay. This guy's got the normal gun pods and IR missiles. Now let's speed this up a little bit. Get them closer together. So hopefully we don't have to watch forever just while they fly. Okay, I might have, I'm, I, I should probably speed it up for longer, but I'm not for sure. I, I have had, um, I think it was the A-10 one time, shot an IR missile before a merge at uh, one of these old planes, so. I don't see, there it is, there's the old frog foot out there in the distance, blurry, blurry little blob. Let's see what happens here. Truly they see each other. I think uh, it's looking like they're just going to fly right past each other. Sometimes they fly past each other and ignore each other. I have to go in and try to make them run into each other. But So there should have been an IR shot if he could have done it yet, I would think. You never know. Uh, <laughs> that's a merge. Okay, they've... 190 has acknowledged the Frogfoot. The Frogfoot, for some reason, is flying straight. I don't understand what he's doing. Um, and th this isn't really fair. Uh, because sometimes... Uh, sometimes the aircraft, because they're not suited for a cap mission, or a fighter mission at all they they don't they just don't perform it they they sort of ignore the fact that there's an enemy aircraft there so it's not really fair it's kind of hard to get some of these guys to fight um, it looks like in this case it's going to be a one-sided fight and it's not fair to the frogfoot sorry to, for uh to all usu 25 fans out there uh i think I think if this FW-190 can get in close enough, I think he's going to win, but we'll see. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing here. Hmm, Frogfoot's still going out to sea. Okay, he's over the World Islands. Frogfoot's out in front of him a bit. Let's speed this up. Now, more than likely, the Frogfoot should turn in to land. Yep, there he goes. Okay, so if the FW-190 can cut him off... Oh, what is he doing? Looks like he turned... I don't know. This pilot isn't... He, he doesn't know what the Frogfoot's doing, I know, but... Now he's in a chase that I don't know if he can. I don't know if he can catch up. It's a little bit slower. But he might do it. Especially if the frog foot turns again and he can cut inside a circle and close the gap a little bit. You know, get closer geometrically. Um, if he even if he can't on speed alone, maybe he can geometrically solve the problem. I don't know, I don't even see... Oh, there he is, okay. He's, he's up right there. I, 
don't know that he's going to be able to catch him and get close enough to, uh, to put rounds on target. Let's see how far away he is. I don't like labels, but I don't know. Okay, let's speed this up. Dropping. In theory, that should pick up. I don't know if the Frogfoot knows he's back there. Maybe he does. Oh, there's shots. He knows now. Oh, man. Now, I know this FW190 has some pretty, pretty salty uh, guns, but. Oh, he opened up. go <laughs> we got some flares and a destroyed su-25 shot the tail right off of him so again i apologize to those of you who are fans of the uh, su-25 but he flew right past him and ignored the threat so he is out of the bracket and the fw190 is going to move on Alright, game 14, we have a MiG-15 from the east, literally in this case from the east, and figuratively, or two times literally, I suppose. Pretty looking plane, get my camera set up the way I like it. And here we've got the Spitfire, coming to the loser's bracket after having to go up against the F-15 Eagle and taking a slammer to the nose. Let's see if the Spitfire can do to the MiG-15 what it did to the F-86 Sabre. I doubted it um, previous to seeing the Sabre and the MiG-15 both go down to uh, World War II uh, airplanes, Spitfire and the P-51 respectively. Um, but while I didn't pick them to go far in my personal bracket, uh, I think in this particular case, the, uh, the Spitfire is going to win this battle, but we'll see. The MiG-15, if, if he would use his speed and climbing advantage, I think he could have a chance, but, uh, he's not gonna. Well, the MiG-15s always climb anyway, but, um, or they seem to, they seem to always climb. But, uh, but we'll see what happens. If I were him, I'd take a pot shot with that cannon uh, during the merge, but I guess you're not supposed to do that or something. But I would. Okay, he's going to pass down the left, and oh man, what a merge that is. Wow, that might be the coolest merge. And again, I wish I had better camera shots. I should have ducked out into the fixed camera. I could have done that and that would have looked sweet. They're both climbing, rolling over the top. MiG-15 should complete the loop, the half loop first. So he is cresting over the top, coming back down. Oh, and there went the Spitfire. Spitfire is being excellently piloted here. I'm guessing. I don't know. Let's try to find that MiG-15. These are both beautiful aircraft. I, I'm I'm very partial. Whoa, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. Very partial to the uh, to the Spitfire. I think it's one of the most beautiful aircraft ever created. I don't think too many people would disagree with me on that. Okay, that doesn't really work. The old F4 is looking weird. Oh, he is in position. This is going to be a kill for the Spitfire. He's just fine-tuning it to get his shots off. That's all. Unless the MiG-15 can punch it and get out of there, uh, this, this solution is going to be ready in a second. There it is. 
spitfires, we've got hits already. Oh, man. When that spitfire gets on target, he chews them up. Oh, look at that. Put more rounds in him. He's still flying, but MiG-15 is tough. Look at that. And just like that, he's out of the fight. Spitfire moving on. Staying alive. Make 15s out of the bracket. Pilot never bailed. Mr. Smith, BF 109. <clears throat> Game 15 of the loser's bracket. Game 15 of the bracket, but we are in. Game 3 of the loser's bracket, and here we have the A 10 Warthog. Now, this is a skin I've been working on. You may recognize it. It's a throwback skin. Now, this, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this Tar Heel Howl uh, paint job was originally done. I think I got the wrong missiles on there on the side, but. Um, was originally on a P-40 Warhawk, I believe, but you will probably recognize it from a very iconic P-47 Thunderbolt uh, that is that still flies. <clears throat> I believe it's uh, kept down in Texas and probably makes it to some uh, air shows and things like that. So it's one of my favorite P-47 uh, paint jobs, and uh, I love the P-47, and of course I love the A-10, and so uh, I decided to do an A-10 paint job based on it as a throwback. The P-47 is a spiritual predecessor and, a, and probably a true predecessor, you might say, to the, uh, the A-10 Thunderbolt II. So if I got some terminology mixed back and forth between the two planes uh, there, forgive me. I, when I'm jumping back and forth between two different planes, sometimes I mix up their, the nomenclature a bit. But anyway, we're speeding it up. We're going to get these guys together quickly and hopefully they'll fight. These are two more that don't really like to fight each other if they, if they can help it. <clears throat> For one, the a 10s not really, that's not its role, so it doesn't really like to go air to air. Um, now the A-10 actually took out the F1, uh, FW-190 with, with a sidewinder to the face in the very first game of the tournament, so we'll see if he does it again here. Okay, the 109 seems to be acknowledging. And there we've got an interesting merge. The They're both going vertical a little bit here, okay. is going to have a bit of an advantage, I think, in turning, but I'm not certain of that. <laughs> Maybe not. This is bad news because if he gets a uh, IR tone, that 109 is going to go down. That's not the view that I want. Let's turn this guy around here. See if we can find him. Ah, uh, I might have missed something here. Um, I think I missed something. The A-10's not really maneuvering anymore. I don't see the plane anywhere. Hmm. Yep, F2's not working. There, Oh, there he goes. Okay, it was working. He did. A10's moving on. I missed that. Sorry, guys. Alright, we're going with a bare metal. P51 Mustang. And very cool F-86 Sabre skin, the Sky Blazers. I really wanted to have my Miss America P-51 Mustang skin, but the way I had to set this up, 
Um, I was running out of time, and I just had to set it up as a as a nation that I don't have that skin set up for. So, um, based on what happened in round one of the bracket, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the P-51 is moving on, and just like the MiG-15, the F-86 is going to be leaving the bracket. Uh, beautiful plane, but I don't think it's going to hang. That didn't really rhyme. Near rhyme. Now this guy, unlike the MiG-15, he's got some old IR missiles there, and I have been able to use those in the Sabre to good effect, but uh, I don't know that uh, this AI Sabre pilot is going to use them. I think he's going to merge and then never see the Mustang again until it shoots him. And he might even, well, I guess if he looks over his shoulder, he'll see the Mustang. <clears throat> but he's never, never going to get to home. That's my prediction here. I think I might have stopped the, uh, okay, he sees him, he's slowing down so that he can turn. There's the Mustang. Oh, we're turning already. Oh, looky there. Interesting. Kind of dodged each other and then they turned into each other. Going up. Not a bad idea. Use that jet power. This really is a beautiful jet. Oh, that's a ship down there. That's not the that's not the P-51. There's the P-51. A little bit lower. Um, this isn't a bad turn fight. It looks like the Mustang's ahead. Yep, Mustang's ahead. So we're at, oh, he was way ahead. He didn't look that close, but he got shots on him. We've got some damage to the tail and the wing. Uh, I did not realize that the, that the Mustang had been able to lead him that much. I, I thought he was still pointed out in front a little bit. <clears throat> Saber pilot's doing everything he can. The Mustang is flying straight for a second may have been a mistake. Or maybe it was all part of his plan. Whoa, there we go. And he turned around quick. Mustang did. You can always, always find the uh, F-86. Or not always, but a lot of times you can find the F-86 from that long thread of coal out behind it. This is a good. This is a good little fight. Looks like the uh, Sabers doing loops around the Mustang. I don't know if that's going to uh, solve any problems anytime soon, but you never know. Mustangs going up into a half loop. Have sights on the saber now? I don't know. He was kind of not. The, he gave up some good position there, I think, a little bit ago. But uh oh, uh oh, that's not looking good for the saber. Oh, there it is. Yeah. The P-51 has just about gotten the solution to the problem. Here we go. Well, I thought it was almost ready. There it is. And that's that. P-51 moving on again. Okay, the FW-190 
defeated the Su-25 last round, and now it's up against the F-5 Tiger. I think it might be the end of the line for the Folk Wolf. Wolf? Wolf? Do you say Wolf? I don't know. Let's speed it up. I don't want to speed it up too much, because there could be an IR missile shot. I doubt it, but... see the F5 easily enough. Those jet aircraft always put out a little bit of smoke, so that makes it a little bit easier. Oh, nice little merge here. Yeah! <laughs> I like that merge. That was cool. Okay, climbing. I'm trying to loop over the top. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Make a tighter, tighter turn over the top, I guess, as you slow down. Yup, he got rolled over. I don't know that he's in great position, but... missing a missile. Uh, I think the uh, 190, I think the door is dead already. The door is dead. I missed it. I missed it again. It, it already died. I, I almost missed it on one of those previous ones, but um, yep. He's dead. Sorry that I missed that again, guys. This is not quite live, but close to it. All right, we got the MiG-21, fish bed. Coming up against the Supermarine Spitfire. Now this is round two. We're in the second game of round two of the loser's bracket. Um, I don't think I mentioned it. The F W-190 versus F-5 was, was game 17. So anyway, we're in game 18. This is the second round of the loser's bracket. Um... And uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see who wins here. <clears throat> now, Spitfire has been mean against some first-gen jet fighters. I don't know what it's gonna be able to do against the second-gen. I'm a, I think MiG-21 is a second-gen. I would assume so. It's su supersonic, much faster, has a radar, uh, carries better missiles that thing, that kind of thing. So, uh, if the MiG-21 wanted to, you could just fly really fast without a whole lot of effort, and the Supermarine Spitfire would never get a shot on it, but we'll see what happens. The AI does some weird stuff sometimes. There's the Spitfire, and there's a missile. Uh-oh. Oh, it almost looked like it missed, but Spitfire goes down. He never knew it was coming, except I'm sure he saw the smoke and all that. MiG-21 moving on. Sorry, Spitfire, you're a beautiful plane, but you're out of the bracket. Perhaps in a guns only. All right, AV-8B Harrier in game 19 fighting to stay alive against the A-10 Warthog. Um, my prediction is the Warthog's going home. I love the Warthog, but uh, the AV-8 is uh, it's got a lot on you here. <clears throat> oh, 
I don't fly the Harrier much. Very fun aircraft to fly. Um, very cool aircraft, obviously. I don't fly it much. Alright, here we go. Let's speed these guys up. Don't want to get them too close. Speed them up a little bit more. Where? Okay. I think I see. Yep. We're dropping the... I don't know why they always drop, drop the gun pods. <laughs> but they do. Unless those aren't gun pods. Uh-oh. There's a missile already. We got flares, but not good enough. Wait. Uh, A-10's pretty tough. Oh, he is still alive. I was wondering if the pilot was dead or if he was alive. Now, I don't know what his plan is here with his air brakes and flying straight. I don't think it's going to work out so well for him. But he's alive for now. Chewed up. And there goes the Harrier around in a circle. Getting in position. It's hard to see. It's hard to keep track of that Harrier. But there it is. Uh, this A-10, he might as well bail out if he's going to fly straight with his brakes out. Okay, I don't know if the Harriers want to kill him or not. Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's flying into land too, like they both gave up. And it's almost, maybe I'm wrong, it looks like they're paralleling each other. I don't know, I'm, I might be misjudging that. Okay, he's... Huh. Oh, okay. He's further back, I didn't realize that. Where's the A-10? He should be going over the water out in front. Uh, I don't know why the Harrier hasn't fired yet. <clears throat> oh, there he is. Okay, I see him now. Took me a minute. Very low, going over that last little bit of water out there. He wants to land. He really wants to land if he lands. Oh, we had a missile shot. <laughs> A-10's dead. All right, MiG-19. Very beautiful aircraft against the P-51. Now, I called the MiG-21 a Gen 2 aircraft earlier. Now, technically, it's a third gen, if you look at uh, MiG-15. I kind of count MiG-17 as the same. It's not. It's not the same. But um, and then you got the MiG-19, which was a step up. So, I don't know. I haven't looked that up in a while. So, anyway, MiG-19 versus the old P-51. Once again, I'm not sure that the P-51 will have enough oomph to, uh, to kill this MiG-19. I don't know that it'll be able to stay inside the turn circle and get close enough, but I continue to be surprised by the World War II era aircraft. <clears throat> Speed them up. And in this case, the MiG-19 does have some missiles, so he could potentially get a shot off at the P-51. Where is he? Okay. 
Okay. Closing fast. I think they see each other. Maybe. There we go. D1's climbing and turning. Big 19. No big surprise. Climbing and turning. Got the afterburners lit. The MiG-19 doesn't scream early Cold War to you. <laughs> it is a beautiful aircraft. Whoa, okay, the MiG-19 got turned around, but the P-51 flew under, pulling the brakes out. Trying to slow down. There's the P-51 going over the top and getting in position. Safe for now, but not for long, unless it can outrun this guy. It is clear it's not going to... Oh, we already have shots. Those were beautiful. Here comes more. Let him a little bit much on the first volley, but... I don't know if we've got hits yet or not. It kind of looks like we do. I think that P-51's even closing the distance a little bit, maybe, maybe not. Yep, shot, oh, there were definite hits. P-51's closer. Shame on the MiG-19 for letting him get that close. <laughs> Shouldn't have happened. Uh-oh, my mouse is all messed up. I got my view messed up. Yeah, and I missed the kill. Well, the pilot ejected safely. <laughs> and there you have it. P-51 is moving on again. And that is actually the end of this video. That's the end of rounds one and two of the uh, loser's bracket. So we'll see you again next time for round three of the winner's bracket.